Hello everyone, welcome to the DINRAIL Terminal Blocks video vlog. Um, today uh, we're going to be talking about end brackets. Um, so we've got three main end, bra end brackets that are very popular for us. Uh, the first one is the SS2, kind of looks like an elephant. Um, how this works is it snaps on to the rail and then just like that. And that, that in itself is quite sturdy. You see there's really no wiggle in it. Um, but it also has two uh, screws there that you can tighten up and clamp on this one back leg of the rail. So the screws don't tighten up this, but they do pinch down on that. Um, for most applications, that's plenty. And uh, nobody really needs anything more than that. But we do have two other options. Um, one is the SS4. So the first one was the SS2. This is the SS4. And the difference is, you see, it has the metal clamps on the bottom. Now, a lot of people like this if they've had issues with, uh, you know, end brackets in the past not being strong enough. Um, like I said, SS2 does the trick for most everyone. But the nice thing about this SS2 is you will see that the metal clamps, it just grabs onto there. And then it's got a screw on the top, and it pulls up the metal and grabs on the outside of this DIN rail. So as I do that, it's kind of there. Maybe you can see that metal clamp elevate and pull on up and then that really cinches down so it takes it and pinches the rail in between those metal outside clamps that you can see right there and the block itself and that that really holds on there very nice and sturdy the other thing about the SS2 just going back to that one is the outside one of these screws will actually push in to the rail which especially with this aluminum grabs on pretty well because it will actually like uh, push down into it a little bit and it will kind of break the surface of it which uh, pinches down really really nicely which uh, is a special for, especially for aluminum because it's a little bit softer than that than that steel um, and then the last one is the SS6 now the SS6 you'll see is quite larger in profile than the other two uh, so we've got the SS2, the SS4, and the SS6 all Dinkle products um, and the SS6 is if you've got something really substantial on there that you want to hold hold tight, um, SS6 will do the trick. So it's really the same thing as the SS4 where it's got these metal clamps on the bottom and that one screw hole on the top. And then we can just tighten that down and it just has a much larger profile on it. And it's just very heavy duty. Um, so there are all three of them right there. Those are three of our most popular. We do have other ones, but these are the three most popular. Um, as you can see, like people can also use these, um, you know, end brackets as covers. Um, so, for example, this we'll grab the this is the DK 2.5 end block. So this goes up to a 12 gauge and 20 amp. Um, you can I can click this on here, and it will the SS2 will actually hide the guts of that block. So you see you can't see any of those internals like that, so it's not exposed. So a lot of people actually use this end bracket as like an end cover. Um, and the same thing with SS4. And then sometimes, though, you get too large of a, a block. So this is like the DK4N, which you can kind of do the same thing, actually, because it has the same profile as the DK2.5. It's just a little bit thicker for that 10 gauge instead of that 12 gauge. Um, but if you get larger than that, you know, you're going to be sticking out. You're going to have some metal exposed. So some people will opt to do the SS6 because then that also works as a cover. Obviously, you can just do covers instead. But for some people that don't want to order covers and they just need um, end brackets and blocks, that's what you got. So once again, these are, are um, you know, the difference between the end brackets. Because a lot of times people have some, you know, they've used flimsy, cheap end brackets before and they wanted something more substantial. This kind of gives you an idea of the options that are out there. Um, so if you can, like this video, follow us. Um, you can find us at our eBay store, our Amazon store, or DinRailTerminalBlocks.com. Um, and we're also DinRail Terminal Blocks is the name of our eBay store and our Amazon store. So have a great weekend and take care.